Hello dear students, here I am Dr. Amjad Ali and in this video we are going to learn the coefficient of determination of simple regression uh, or you can say the coefficient of determination of OLS, ordinary least square regression line or you can say the uh, you can say the uh, R square of uh, simple regression or R square of OLS. Okay, before the detailed discussion of uh, uh, R square or coefficient of determination, let's uh, discuss uh, about the types of variation in regression line. Normally, there are uh, uh, three types of uh, variation in the regression line. The first one is total variation, and unexplained variation, and explained variation. But uh, <coughs> but the literature suggests that uh, only one uh, variation is considered uh, for the regression line. That is the total variation. The variability among the values of the dependent variable y call the total variation and the formula for the <coughs> for the total variation summation y minus y bar or mean value of y uh, is a whole square okay the total variation can be further categorized into two types because i told you that there is only one variation that is total variation and total variation have further two types that is uh, first one is explained variation <coughs> and uh, this explained variation uh, we can say that uh, is associated with the independent variable effect and uh, <coughs> uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, this variation is explained by the regression line okay the second one uh, the second one of uh, of the total variation part that uh, is uh, unexplained variation you can call it a which uh, which the regression line fails to explain it that summation y minus y hat scale you normally uh, <coughs> you, you normally interpret it that error, error term <coughs> okay so this means that the total variation is the combination of unexplained variation plus explained variation so we can we can call it a total variation is equal to unexplained variation plus explained variation okay let's see this graphical example here that we have a, let we have a <coughs> uh, independent variable x and dependent variable y and here we have a mean value of uh, our average value of y and uh, average value of x here okay you, we are well aware that uh, uh, the regression line passes through the uh, mean value of uh, x and mean value of y so here we have a estimated regression line and this is our estimated regression line y hat is equal to a plus b x and we have empirically and theoretically test that uh, uh, <coughs> that what you mean by y hat is equal to a plus b x okay let's see we have a total number of observation x i and here we have a total number of observation uh, y i okay let's see the uh, discussion detailed discussion here this whole part this side of whole part is known as total variation so see here this is the total variation and this total variation line intersect the estimated line here okay now we have a two parts the one is below the estimated regression line and the other is above the estimated regression line okay the the below part of estimated regression line is known as explained variation which uh, normally are explained by the independent variable so this is called the explained variation and the upper part which is not explained by the independent variable we call it a residual or error term so this is our unexplained variation so combination of these two is is called the total variation it's called the total variation so we have uh, <coughs> a solid understanding we get a solid understanding here that uh, uh, below the estimated regression line is called the explained variation and above the estimated line is called the residual or unexplained variation and the combination of the uh, uh, both unexplained and explained variation is called total variation 
Okay, what you mean by the coefficient of determination? The coefficient of determination measures the portion of the variability in the value of the dependent variable y is explained by its linear relation with independent variable. Okay, this uh, uh, this shows that uh, the tot uh, the total variation which is explained by the by the independent variable is technically called the coefficient of determination, which is we call it R square as well. <coughs> Okay, the coefficient of determination is also defined as the ratio of the explained variation to, to the total variation. So, for oh, someone call it, uh, it is the ratio of, uh, of the explained variation over the total variation. Okay, we use the sum symbol uh, rho square, so read it uh, rho, rho square for the population parameter when you are uh, finding the R square or coefficient of determination of uh, of the population parameter, you have to read it a rho square. And when you are finding the <coughs> R square of uh, sample case or coefficient of determination of sample case, you can call it a R square. So this is for the sample case and this is for the population case. Rho for the population case and R square for the sample case. Okay. Uh, here uh, we have uh, the formula for the uh, for the coefficient of determination coefficient of determinant r square is equal to because uh, uh, we have a clear understanding that uh, uh, population uh, 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 is uh, normally is out of control for uh, individual researchers that's why we mostly rely on uh, 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 sample case so that's why we are using here a sample uh, coefficient of determination r square is equal to explained variation divided by total variation you can call it a summation y hat minus y bar uh, whole square divided by r uh, divided by residual sum of square, uh, r sorry uh, divided by total variation <coughs> summation y minus y bar square okay another formula for the for the r square is that one minus this is residual sum of square divided by total variation so summation y minus y hat square divided by total variation so this the, these are two different formulas for finding the uh, for finding the coefficient of determination value so there is an uh, alternative <coughs> method for uh, for finding the coefficient of determination that is r square r square is equal to a summation y plus b summation x y minus summation y whole whole square divided by n and summation y square minus summation y whole square divided by n so this is another formula for the uh, coefficient of determine coefficient of determination we can call it a r square okay uh, when all of the observed values fall on the regression line then y is equal to y hat and our total variation is equal to explained variation and hence r scale is equal to 1 so see here i give you an example here that if our estimated regression line and our actual y is equal to each other then our r square is equal to 1 and if these uh, if our estimated regression line and f uh, our actual y does not match to each other then maybe our our uh, r square is equal to zero let's see in detail that uh, so when uh, uh, we call it a uh, uh, estimated and uh, actual value of y is equal to each other then our explained variation is equal to total variation so r square is equal to one and when the observed value are such that uh, y hat is equal to y mean value y bar then our uh, unexplained uh, our explained variation is zero so this is our explained variation is equal to zero when our explained variation is equal to zero then r square is equal to zero if you see the formula for this then uh, if your uh, this part is equal to zero then uh, uh, after all you can understand that if the nom denominator is equal to zero then whole answer will become is equal to zero okay uh, this shows that uh, uh, this reveals that the value of r square lies between 
minus one uh, between minus one and zero. You can say that uh, zero and one. So, so normally uh, R square uh, comes in the form of of zero and one. So, what is mean by when R square is equal to one? What does it mean when R is equal to one and when R is equal to zero? So when R is equal to 1, it signifies that 100% variability in the dependent variable is associated with the regression equation. This explains that the total variation of the dependent variable is explained by the independent variable. Okay, if R square is equal to 0, then it means that none of the variability or variation in the dependent variable is explained by the independent variable. So this is a very rare case, but if somehow both are rare case, we are always remain between zero and one. Uh, we we uh, we hardly find R square is equal to one, and we hardly find R is equal to uh, is equal to zero. Okay, a value of R square is equal to zero point nine indicate that ninety three percent of the variability in the y is explained by its linear relationship with the with the independent variable and 7% of the variation is due to chance or other factor which are not part of the model. So this reveals that 93% variation in the dependent variable y is explained by the independent variable and 7% is error which is not explained by the model. You can say which is not explained by the independent variable so, <coughs> so we can call it a error term as well okay let's see the empirical example uh, for the uh, for the for the coefficient of determination or r square okay let we have a uh, dependent variable y and independent variable uh, x and here are some necessary summations are given so that we can we can use these uh, uh, values or uh, necessary summations and then find uh, what we have we have to find the total variation and we have to find the unexplained variation and we have to find the explained variation okay let's start our start about the total variation and uh, the fourth one is we have to find uh, the coefficient of determination because it is our ultimate objective here we have to find the <coughs> coefficient of determination okay let the total variation total variation we have summation y minus y bars whole square divide so this uh, 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 this formula can be simplified into summation y square minus summation y whole square divided by n so here we have uh, summation y square value and summation y value and n value when we put the, these values uh, into this formula and we get the total variation 6 4 6 okay here we have unexplained variation and the unexplained variation is equal to summation y minus y hat square so y hat uh, uh, formula can be simply uh, explained as that uh, summation y square minus a summation y minus b summation x y so we have summation y uh, summation y square value and we have summation y value and we have summation x y value and a value at the same time here in our uh, summations given here okay put these values into the formula and we get uh, unexplained variation is equal to 26.86 okay this is our unexplained variation and this is our total variation so what you uh, mean here your explained variation so you are very well aware that uh, explained variation is equal to total variation minus unexplained variation okay put the values of total variation minus unexplained variation and we get our explained variation so these are the three parts which are required here that total variation unexplained variation and explained variation okay now we have to find the coefficient of determination and we know that the coefficient of determination simple formula is explained variation divided by total variation so we have explained variation and the total variation and this is our explained variation and this is our total variation so divide the explained variation by total variation and we get 0 0.9 
five eight so here uh, the more important that what is the meaning of uh, this calculated or estimated value here okay the value of r square 0.958 explain that 95.8 percent of the variability in the y is explained by the linear relationship with the independent variable so this shows that uh, 90 uh, 95 percent variation in the dependent variable is explained by the independent variable or variables because we are going we are here discussing about the simple regression so that's why here we have uh, to explain it uh, the total 95 percent variation is explained by our independent variable x so uh, as much higher r scale uh, value we are uh, more uh, satisfied uh, towards our estimated results so this is at all about the coefficient of determination for the simple regression or r square for the simple regression okay see you with another video ciao